All right, we're going to attach the large exterior pocket to our main here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. This is the right side. This is the lining. And I'm going to line it up with the bottom edge and the side, the sides, okay? Grab some clips and I'm gonna clip it in place. Once I get done clipping it in place, I'm gonna head over to my sewing machine and I'm gonna baste it on. I want this thing to be fully attached so I don't have to kind of, you know, mess with it when I'm trying to, uh, to do the rest of the bag. So you just wanna line up your, your sides and your bottom. Make it all look pretty, look really good. All right, now I'm gonna head to my sewing, machi sewing machine. I'm probably gonna use about a quarter of an inch seam allowance and I'm gonna baste all the way around those three sides. Okay, so here we are all basted on, looking pretty fabulous. The next thing is to make this pocket. Now, technically you don't have to do this. You can leave this open. You have one giant pocket here. This is totally up to you. If that's the case, you wouldn't need to uh, find the center of this panel at all. But I kind of want that. So I am going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to st top stitch all the way down that center crease. All right. That was quick and easy. I made sure to backstitch a couple of times because this is gonna get a lot of use. And so you can see here, hopefully, that we've got two pieces. We've got a pocket over here for a mouse or whatever. Um, and then we've got our pencil pocket over here. I hope, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so there's that. And I'll take pictures later. Um, yeah, so that is our main panel. How cool is that, I love it. So let's put this to the side, and now we're going to start working on our handles. Okay, so let's grab our handle pieces, and we're going to need our iron. These are pretty easy. Uh, we're gonna take it wrong side up, and we're gonna fold it like a hot dog, so long ways, and we're gonna press a crease in the handle. Okay, so give it a minute to really get nice and get a really nice crease there, all right? Now we're gonna open it up. You're gonna do that, this with both of the handles. Open it up and take this bottom raw edge, long raw edge, and you're gonna fold it to that center crease that we just pressed. And now we're going to repeat that on the other side. I like to flip it over. It's okay if it comes open a little bit, no problem. You're going to fold those creases together so they meet in the middle and then fold. You wanna to totally enclose all those raw edges. This also gives you a really stable handle, which is what you want. You don't want a floppy handle. You want something super stable, okay? So that's that. Take your iron away, open it all the way up again. Okay, we'll press it again. We're gonna take some wash away wonder tape. You do not have to use wash away wonder tape. You can just simply fold and press and um, we need to turn each of the short raw edges into up towards the wrong side a quarter of an inch. And lucky for us, the um, wash away wonder tape is exactly a quarter of an inch. So otherwise you can uh, measure up a quarter of an inch and iron, use your, uh, press it down, okay? So there's that side, let's do the other side. Okay, so you can see I've got a few little pieces of fabric here that just did not connect to their, um, to the interfacing, so we'll do this. There we go, just want it to stay where it's supposed to. So a little wash away wonder tape there. This is why this stuff is awesome because you can just use it in little bitty places where you just need a little bit of help. So voila, it's perfect. So now we're going to refold those sides in using the creases that we pressed. And then again, here. Okay, matching up those, that open edge.
right, now that we've finished that with both of them, I'm just clipping these, and we're gonna head to our sewing machine, lengthen our stitch to, you know, three, somewhere between three, 3.5, whatever, whatever you like um, for a top stitch. And we're going to top stitch all the way down both of the long edges of each of our handles, okay? So you're looking about quarter to an eighth of an inch. You wanna make sure when you're, you're top stitching down the open edge here that you catch all of the fabric there so that you don't have any weird opening, all right? So let's go to our machine and let's do that. All right, so here we are. Let's um, trim our threads. Now we're going to grab one of our main panels. We're going to be um, dealing with both of our main panels here. So let's grab the one that we just did all the pockets on, all right? Now, it says we need to find the center of the main panel, which we've already done. We have a light green line here. And we're going to measure over from the center two inches and down from the top two inches. So. Now this can be adjustable based on anything that you may have changed, um, you know, to, to just make it more unique. So you can put these kind of how you want, but two inches away from the center really is a great spot for it. So here's two inches, okay? That's from the center and then two inches down. All right, so here is two inches right here. Right there. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now we have our, mine is very stiff. You can see how stiff this is because of that decor bond. It's, a, it's some serious, seriously stiff handle here. If you're using SF 101, it'll be a lot more easily, um, more pliable there. All right, so you're gonna line up the inside edge the inside edge of your handle, this is the way I do them, and you're gonna line it up with that, the, each of the marking. The inside of the edge goes here, the bottom edge goes there. And then you're going to pin, or you can um, use wash away wonder tape, which actually I might need to do, since this is so thick, where did it go? Okay. So I'm gonna put this one here and I'm gonna press it down and then I'm gonna bring this one around like this. So I'm gonna take my paper off. Uh, oh, I already took paper off one side. I need to take the paper off the other side. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to line that up there as well. So take a look at it. Make sure you like the way it looks. You don't think it needs to be moved around at all. I feel like this is pretty good. I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna grab my other main panel. All right, here's my other main panel. I need to find the center. So you remember how we did that before? Okay, so again, two inches from the center, two inches from the bottom or from the top, On one side, all right, we're gonna line that up, the side marking with the inner, the inside here, and then the bottom. Press that down, bring it around this way. Okay, so, whoops, need to stay. Um, you can always clip if there are any problems. Okay, let's take our wash away wonder tape off. And let's line up the other. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to our sewing machine and we're going to attach these to each of these panels. We're gonna stitch a one by one inch square. You could do up to a one and a half inch square. It's up to you and how much, you, you just don't want a big square. You don't wanna go like this with it because we still have to sew up here on this edge, okay? So I do about a one by one inch square and you can measure that in if you want and mark it and then sew over it. But we're gonna do that on each one, one, two, three, four of these handles, all right? I will be right back. Okay.
Okay, so here we are. I need to trim up my threads. And one of the things I forgot to tell you is it isn't just a one by one inch square. There's also an X in the center. This gives a lot more stability to that handle. That handle's not gonna go anywhere. All right, now I'm gonna set these two panels to the side. And I'm gonna grab my lining panel because we've gotta prep one of our lining pieces. And now we are going to assemble our small interior pocket. Now, if you didn't already do that, you need to go back to steps five through 10 and get this interior pocket all put together. Now, we need to find the center. So uh, the easiest way to find the center is to fold it in half, give it a good press so we can have a crease here. So that's the center of the, the lining. Now we wanna find the center of our pocket. We'll do the same thing. You can also measure it. Okay. All right, so we've got a little bit of a crease there. I'm gonna clip right where that is. Okay, I'm gonna open up my lining. We've got a nice crease there. I'm gonna clip at the top of that as well. All right, now, we're going to measure down the center two inches, all right? So two inches is right here, okay? And now we are going to line up the center of our pocket with the center of our lining, and where we marked two inches is where the top of our pocket is going to be. So we're right just like this. You can use wash away wonder tape to attach it, or you can use pins. I'm gonna use pins just because it's faster at the moment but wash away winter tape is pretty fabulous for things like this. All right, now I'm gonna head over to my sewing machine and just like I did with the other pockets, I'm gonna top stitch around these three sides. Okay, here we are. I can take my pins out. I can take my clip off and voila, um, trim our threads. Give it another quick press. Okay, let's get ready to attach the zipper. The first thing we need to do is grab some pins and we need to move our handles out of the way. So we're just gonna fold them down onto the main panels and pin them in place. Okay, so let's take one of our panels again. And we are going to place some wash away wonder tape all across this top edge. You don't have to use wash away wonder tape, but it, it really is probably my favorite use for it. It would be um, when installing a zipper. It just, it makes things so easy. Okay, I'm pressing that down. Let's grab our zipper. Let's take the tape off of our tape off of our um, washer and winter tape. Now we're gonna take our zipper and we're gonna place it face down. Now how do we know it's face down? Wherever the pull is, that's the, that's the front, that's like the right side, okay? So we're gonna put, place it right side down. And we're just gonna center it in there because I've got, um, since my zipper is long, too, longer than, my, um, than necessary, I'm just gonna center it on there, lining up the edge of the tape of the, um, of the zipper tape with the raw edge of the bag. All right, and just give that a good press down with your finger, and there you go, okay? All right, now that we've done that, we're going to grab one of our um, lining pieces, and we're gonna be laying that on top like this. And so to do that, I'm gonna use more wash away wonder tape, and it's going to go the length, the exact same length as the one before. So across the, the top of the, oopsies, the top of the, um, the main panel here. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to line our lining up with the top edge of the main panel and the sides of the main panel. Okay, just that edge there, just like we did before. So that puts your main panel and your lining panel right sides together. 
Okay, take your time. Do what you need to do to get it all nice and straight. And press it down. Just want to make sure that it's the edges are lined up. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my zipper foot on my machine and I am going to stitch using my zipper foot all the way across here. Okay, so we've stitched it all the way across. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open it up. Okay, and we are going to put the lining to the back and we're going to pull it tight here and we're going to press this down as much as we can. Okay, we want to pull that lining away from the zipper. So you're going to have to do some pulling while you press. So I'm kind of holding the lining in place and, and pulling the zipper away. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side as well. Once we do that, we're going to go back to the sewing machine. I'm going to lengthen my stitch just a little bit, and then I'm going to top stitch along this edge. But before I do that, I want to double check that my zipper is going to open and close all right. Perfect. So I'm going to top stitch along here. Good. Very nice. Okay. We're going to, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take, make sure you can see this okay. We're going to take our other main panel and we're going to place it right side down uh, on top of the, um, the other main panel. I'm going to grab my Wash Away Wonder Tape and I'm going to place it all across the, the length of the um, zipper. Okay. All right, and what I want to do is I want to line up um, the top edge of my other main panel with the top edge of this zipper while lining up the side seams because I want these to, both panels to line up perfectly, right? So we're going to line up the side seams here too with the top edge with and, and the top edge, I should say. All right, and now we have, we have our main panels right sides together. Now our lining panels are gonna be right side together. So grab your Wash Away Wonder Tape. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna take our other panel and we're gonna place it right side down. So that makes it right side together with the other lining. So we're gonna line up the top edge and the sides. All right. Now I'm gonna go back to my sewing machine using my zipper foot, and I'm going to stitch across here just like I did before. All right, that was simple enough, and we're going to do the same thing with this that we did with the last one. We are going to, oops, pull this apart and give it a really, really good press. Now I'm gonna go back to my sewing machine and I'm gonna top stitch across this edge. Perfect, we are top stitched on both sides. Okay, now we're on to sewing this whole thing together and making an actual bag. So we are going to take and we're going to bring the right sides of the main together, okay? I'm just gonna clip it once for now, just right here. Okay, and we're also going to bring the right sides of put the right sides of the um, lining together. Now, let's put it here. I'm going to put it here. Before we clip any more, we need to reach inside and we need to unzip this at least at least halfway. So let me reach in this way. So if not more, halfway or more. Okay. Now. Okay, because we're going to be reaching in through a hole to pull this bag to turn it right side out. So you have to have that zipper open in order to be able to get to
to the other side, okay? Now, at both ends of the zipper, we're going to push the zipper tape toward the lining. So it's gonna, we're going to push it this way, okay? We want the zipper to go toward the lining. Now I'm gonna clip it a little bit here, and then I'm gonna flip it over so I can get to this side more easily. And so we've got this open here, so we're gonna, I'm gonna clip it in a couple of places. I just want it to stay together and put in, um, the zipper should go point toward the lining. Okay, and I'll clip right, right there, okay? Now we're gonna clip all the way around. All right, now that we're all lined up and clipped, we're gonna go to our sewing machine and we're going to use a half inch seam allowance. There we go. And we're gonna sew all the way around this thing. We're gonna start here and we're gonna go all the way around to stop here. We're gonna leave this open so that we can birth our bag or turn it right side out, however you wanna say it, okay? Now, one thing to pay close attention to, whether you're using a metal zipper or a, um, or a plastic zipper, it doesn't matter. If you, if you hit those, hit the teeth um, without paying close attention, if you hit those teeth, you can break a needle, hurt your machine, the whole deal. So when we get ready to go over the zipper on either end, we're gonna slow down and be super, super careful, okay? So, Let's go sew this up. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to trim our seam allowance to re reduce some bulk in our bag. And we're also going to clip our corners and trim our, um, our zipper tape here. Whenever you're trimming a zipper, use your junky scissors. Um, you don't wanna ruin your, your sewing scissors or your fabric scissors. Now, when you get to the opening, don't trim the opening. This is what it should look like now. Your lining should have this little bumped out piece. This is where we're going to pull the bag through. So, are you ready for the exciting part? I am. So now, you're gonna reach your hand through both openings, the hole in your lining and where your zipper is open. So you reach all the way through and you just are going to grab hold and get to pulling. There it is, all right, keep pulling. Here we are. Reach in, push out those corners. Um, then what you're going to do is, you're going to take this opening and you're gonna fold it just like you did with the pockets. Um, we're gonna do the same thing. Let me grab my pressing mat here. Just, this is exactly like we did with the um, pockets. We've got our opening here, and you're just going to, it's gonna naturally want to fold in because everything else is folded in. Now we're gonna press it. And you could do a couple of different things. You can do, you can sew by hand using a ladder stitch or a whip stitch. Or if you're like me and hate sewing by hand, you'll go to your sewing machine and you'll just top stitch across this opening um, to get it all closed. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am finished. This bag is nearly done. I wanna give my lining another little press. All right, now all we have to do is push the lining inside of the bag. Push it down in there. Push the lining into the corners. Get all the way into those corners. Okay. Grab your iron and you're going to press inside the bag. Just want everything to just be perfect. Now we're gonna unpin our handles because those are fine now. Okay, now we're gonna press the outside of the bag. 
I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna push this corner out a little bit more. See if I can do that with my finger. If you have a, a tool for that, it works really great. Um, there we go. Yeah, 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 I love it. Okay, give it all a good press. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I'm in love. Turn it over, get all your random threads off. Oh my goodness. Give that a good press. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I am pumped. This is so cute. All right, so now that we have it all pressed, I'm so happy with it, it's so pretty. There is our, our laptop case. Um, I really, really love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will join us another time when I will show you how to make something. Bye.